All right, we've got these two tweeters here. They look identical. One is built to our specifications and one is not. The one with the blue tape was sent to us originally thinking that they had met our requirements. So we went ahead and measured that one. Let's take a quick pink noise reading. On the display, there is an, any speaker, there's no speakers hooked up besides this one tweeter. And they are going through a passive crossover network. Alright, I'm going to save that one. The memory one. Alright, so we're going to go. Now, this tweeter was. Uh, fixed uh, correctly to our specifications. Let's see how it stacks up against the one that looks identical, but is not. We're going to save that on memory two. I do have something I want to show you guys. Since um, many of you have not heard of our brand. I do have a lot of speakers laying around. Here's a, an audio fog tweeter. I'm going to go ahead and wire this up and we'll do the same reading. This will give you guys an idea of how we fall, at least frequency response and efficiency wise. All right, let's go ahead and know you already zoomed in there. Yeah, you may want to cut that one off. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to read or hard to listen. There we go. Hopefully you can see the difference there. Oh, yeah, very plain. The purple is the one that we are currently producing. The green is the one that did not pass our requirements for the manufacturer. And the red is, uh, is from AudioFog. I do have a lot of respect for Andy Waymeyer.